Hey, it's Jody. I have a new process video, and today it is for Pink Fresh Fridays. That's right, some of us crafty YouTubers are getting together once a month to use up our Pink Fresh Studio stash, and today I have dug into the Christmas collection, Home for the Holidays. I believe it's uh, maybe two years old. I'm not positive, but I have plenty left. So I have decided to make a little journal. Now I'm not positive what I'm going to use it for. Um, it could definitely hold pictures, but my first thought is to use it to make lists or, um, you know, just anything I might need to write down. Me and my boys will actually, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything crossed, that we will be in California for actual Christmas Day. Um, I know, I'm already stressed out thinking we may spend Christmas in an airport, but we're going to think positive um, we travel on the 24th, so yes, hopefully we will be in California. And I thought I could, this is small enough that I could throw it in my purse and keep a pen handy and, you know, grocery lists or packing lists or um, gifts, you know, writing what, who got what, who's going to get what, or who asked for what. <laughs> Um, just to keep me all straight um, while I am visiting home. Now, I did not create th these little um, pockets and pages. I don't remember offhand um, if this is by one particular person, but I will um, look through my silhouette studio design items and try to get the name of these to you. So the first couple of ones um, have some tabs. The next one is a super cute uh, trifold paper that I, I think is so much fun. And then there's one with the little flip out. Then there's two with uh, pockets. And then I did create a couple of tags from Confessions of a Paper Addict. And I just went for it. Oh, and I also used that little notebook cut file um, mm, from Annette. I believe it's Annette. Oh, I, I have no idea how to say her last name. But um, I'll, I will try to remember to, to jot that in the description box also. Um, but yeah, this is all I have left of the embellishments. So I just went for it, y'all. Like I said, I may put pictures in it. I may just use it for notes and lists and to keep my thoughts straight. <laughs> But yeah, so I just fill it in however I want to, whatever brings me joy. Um, no doubt this Christmas season is going to be very difficult. Actually, all the holidays, um, this is the 26th, so yeah, so I'm sure Thanksgiving it's going to be rough. I unfortunately will not be going home. Um, but of course my thoughts and prayers will be for my nieces and nephews and my parents and my other sister um, as they navigate um, these next couple of months without, without my sister Renee. Um, it's going to be hard, no doubt. But um, she's definitely on my mind, and I'm, I'm trying so very hard to, I don't know, I, 
yes, I am sad. I'm devastated. I miss my sister. But I, I don't want to stay in that sorrow. Um, I'm not sure how to put it. But anyway, I love her. I miss her. I know she is with us. And um, I know she loved Jesus. So um, that's what I focus on. That's what gets me through my days. Back to my book. Sorry about that. Like I said, I use that little notebook page in a few papers. And I just added embellishments and the stickers and uh, die cuts. And there was all kinds of things in this collection. Um, like that little Christmas wishes. I mean, it's perfect, right? You just jot down a few things that um, I need or whatever. And there's a... Um, yeah, so there was tons of these kinds of little um, lists. That side, I put a couple of the tabs and the little sticker says, May the joy and wonder of the season be yours. That little gray square said a few of my favorite things. Um, this page I added that cute little tab that sells that says filled with wonder and the notebook and I love that globe paper and this one has um, a little journaling spot and the notebook paper the next one so the inside let me see the inside I have one notebook paper and a couple of die cuts and stickers the next page I found some tags that have plenty of room to jot some things down and then those pockets really you could put anything in them I just went ahead and put those little tags that um, I found from Confessions of a Paper Attic. I think those were from uh, two years ago in, in a December release. Let's see, I think I am finishing up. I always love to add some ribbon to my little journals. Um, and this collection had tons of color, red, dark red, pink, navy, green, mustard, light blue. Um, so yeah, I was able to use up some ribbon and I just used three, I had some, uh, brass, I guess, little rings, circle rings, I believe they're one inch and I am still adding stickers, y'all. I told you, I want to use this collection up. I think I do a great job of it. Remember, this is a hop. So please hop along with all the other crafters. And I hope you can some, get some inspiration to use up those Pink Fresh Studio collections. There we go. Some final images. The ribbon just gives it a nice finished look and all my super cute pages. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I hope you're staying safe and that you are well. Take care. Bye-bye now.